but actually, uh, you know, thinking that every cell in the human body is a product of the blood. And the basis of the theory is, is that if, the, if, if we can make a significant change in the quality of the blood, then we can make a significant change in the quality of every body cell. And that being the basis of the theory, you know, how do we build healthy blood? And so that's been my work for the last 30 years, is trying to decide and find out through observation and through uh, hematology and, and microbiology is, is testing the blood of those who are very healthy and those uh, who have serious conditions. And regardless of whether you live in the United States or, or outside the United States, it really didn't matter much, you know, what your culture was, per se. I mean, that, that did have a contributing factor. What really mattered was, I mean, the, the majority of this, really, what really focused in on which made a difference was what were you eating and what were you drinking? And so the diet really had a significant impact on the quality of the blood. And so that's been the, the nature of, of, of a lot of my work and, and I have to, you know, to give credit to, you know, to coming here to Omaha and, and uh, at the invitation of, of the Hurleys uh, and encouraging me to keep coming back and, and seeing the same people over and over again. In fact, in the book Sick and Tired, uh, this, this, is, this is a book I don't know if you're familiar with or not, but it was one of my first books. I started writing, I think, in 1988, eventually got finished with it. It was published in 1999, some uh, 10 plus years later. Has actually some of the client patients that I was working with right here in, in Omaha. And so, uh, uh, so I'm, it's good to be back. I guess that's what I was trying to say. Uh, the pH miracle. I define, and I'll define it here in a minute, but uh, in more detail, but is, is really speaking towards a natural phenomenon between the cause and effect relationship. And as a scientist, I'm very interested in this cause and effect relationship. The reason I call it a secret is because uh, very few, unfortunately, know about it. And we're trying to change that. Uh, you know, it's, uh, we, we want more people to know about this. And, uh, as I look back, being involved in this work now for close to 30 years, I think it's, uh, it's time that, uh, that more people know about this. It's, it's had a dramatic impact on the quality of, of life and the quantity of life of so many around the world. And it's, uh, it's just been awe-inspiring to be part of this, uh, you know, this scientific discovery in uh, learning so much about the blood and how important it is. I don't know how many of you have actually seen your blood. I know you've probably had your doctor do a blood draw and you've seen the quantitative numbers associated with that, but probably scratch your head and not really sure what it all means. But there's nothing like actually looking at your blood live and seeing the quality of the blood. And I'm always interested in, in those who maybe are boastful and saying, you know, I'm healthy, you know, and then... Uh, you know, looking at their blood and, you know, having to admit maybe they're not as healthy as they, they perceive. I just had a, uh, a young man uh, out at our ranch where I have uh, our, our facilities there, and he's been a type 1 diabetic, uh, been doing, type, uh, doing diabetes for the last uh, probably 30 years, and insulin dependent. And he, he kind of stumbled onto the PH Miracle book for diabetes, uh, this book here, and he started reading this book, and he, he started applying the, the principles, and immediately, within about 72 hours, he was able to cut his insulin uh, intake by over 50 percent after, after, you know, having to take 60 units of insulin and sometimes more on a daily basis, is now only taking between six to eight units a day, and was just, was just so amazed that he had to fly out to learn more uh, about this whole program, so he flew to San Diego. You know, it's amazing, you know, because I'm a physical fitness coach, and he had a beautiful body, and, uh, and you said, but I look good, but I'm, I'm unhealthy. I have been unhealthy most of my life. And so there is really a unique difference between fitness and health. He said, I really want both of those. I want to be fit, I want to look good, but I also want to feel good. And a lot of bodybuilders, you know, they, they might look good, but they don't necessarily feel good. And a lot of that has to do, 
with the way they're taking care of the inside of their body. Let me, let me introduce you to my, my wife, if I may. Uh, there's Shelly. And uh, Shelly and I have been married for uh, 35 years now. Uh, we met in uh, junior high school, so it's been a lot longer than that. And, uh, and she's just an incredible woman. And definitely an integral part to this whole PH Miracle mission. And her part was to take the science and make it livable. It's one thing to maybe discover something, uh, but it's another thing, how do, you, how do you implement that into your daily life? And we were down in Trinidad uh, speaking to a group of people, and I was talking uh, about all the foods you need to eliminate that are harmful to the body and will acidify the body. And, and of course, uh, one of those is chicken, which is one of my top ten foods never to eat. And another one of those is uh, high sugar fruits. Um, and of course, uh, the crowd I was speaking to, you know, I mean, that's, it was in Trinidad, and, and you know, that's their diet. <laughs> and yet, uh, the number one cause of death in the, the West Indies is diabetes, or the symptoms associated with diabetes. And uh, Shelley was observing, it was quite obvious, one of the gentlemen stood up and he yelled out, he said, Dr. Young, we cannot be eating the bush all the day. And uh, we've we got to have something more to eat than, than just uh, grass and v green vegetables and green fruits. And so Shelley realized uh, something that was definitely needed was how do we make this easy? How can we integrate this into society so, you know, people can embrace it and, and it, it has to taste good? Uh, and and she's, she's written two wonderful books uh, that uh, are just full of incredible recipes that uh, I think some of you may know or have tried some of her recipes. But uh, anyway, uh, Shelley and I have been working together then, for, uh, we've been working together for the last 25 I'd like to share years. with you uh, my vision of the relative purpose of medicine. I believe that uh, medicine should include prevention of illness, the promotion of health and fitness, rather than focus, focusing all the attention on the diagnosis and treatment of disease. I believe the ultimate purpose of medicine is to help people discover something fundamental within themselves, and that is the awareness that the true source of well-being, joy, contentment that we all seek lies in one's mind and one's heart, the emotions and the spirit, not necessarily in the physical world. This is important so we can all begin to be freed from the process of grasping for happiness in this physical world. To support this approach, I believe, we must begin to embrace a more spiritual vision of ourself and of humanity as a whole. While providing great love, care, and attention to the physical body, medicine can then, and only then, help people discover the non-physical, spiritual dimensions of themselves. When this happens, I believe we can all live and work with less fear, stress, grasping to preserve the physical body at all costs. We can truly be free. So, I'd like to share with you some of the PH Miracle secrets this evening. Here's a foundational uh, theory. Health and disease, or disease, are contextual or environmental in nature and not specific in nature. I have suggested in the book, uh, in my writings, that there, is only, there are no specific diseases and no specific healths. Only one specific disease and one specific health that's predicated on our environments. So we don't talk about uh, healths in plurality. We talk about one health. And uh, it seems like we've uh, spent years creating a host of many diseases. I'd suggest to you that there's only one disease. Now, when you look at this picture, what do you see? Do you see a lake? Uh, do you see uh, trees? Do you see in the distance, and a tree in the forefront, or if you look at it contextually, what do you see? Yeah, see, you have to put on a, a little different perspective. See, it's all in perspective. If you look at, if you look at this 